Mushy mushy. Hey everybody, Lancer here. Welcome you back to more Sukkot into the Five for that Sony PlayStation 2. And I wasn't planning on recording this right now, but my father opened up my can of Surge, so I kind of need to drink it. And uh, I figured I, 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 you know, I was planning on using it for something, so I might as well use it for a recording session. So, cheers. Okay. So, right, what do we need to do now? We need to do some stuff. We need to head back into the arena, I believe, don't we? I believe we do. Where, of course, stuff will go down, because this game is all about stuff going down, if you haven't noticed. Something's always going down in this game. It's usually not good. That's just the way Felena works. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. Ooh. Heck, <laughs> I didn't have a chance. You know, I'm always a sucker for, like, tournaments and arenas in games. I always enjoy that kind of thing. He thinks Belkut has the crowd behind him. He, he's like a baby face. <laughs> that guy never stood a chance. We're clapping away. Who didn't see that coming? Totally not predictable, nope. So amazing, isn't he? He made it all the way to the finals. Well, obviously. He sure is, what a fighter. Come on, let's celebrate in advance. Let's go break in on Belkut and have a party. Eh, sounds good to me. To me too. But do you really think we should? Eh. Sure, why not? George, you're coming too, right? Hmm, yeah, it'd probably be better if we stayed near him. Yeah. Huh? Now that he's definitely advancing to the finals, you never know what those thugs will try. And you know, Gazelle's gonna have something up his sleeve. Oh, that's right. If they're going to stop him from winning the championship, today's the last day they have to do it. And we certainly can't count on the patrol guards. Yeah, corrupt bastages. It's settled then. Let's go break in on Belkut. Let's go whoop his ass. That's what I'm saying. Prince, let's try the inn. I just hope that Belkut is okay. I'm sure he's fine. So let's head to town. Bum 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 bum. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Oh, another arena. How much? Uh, three 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 three. I can't speak. Three thousand twenty pots. It's not too bad. It's not too good, but it's not too bad. We're like middle class, I suppose. So we want to go to the inn. Bum bum bum. Woo! Nah, how's it going? So you want to hang out or something? You want to go do something? What? What's the matter, everybody? Something happened, didn't it? Oh, it's just terrible! Marina! Marina! Oh, sorry. What? What happened? Something went down, didn't it? You know, this is a Sukkotan. Where things go down all the time. 
Marina has been kidnapped. Dun dun dun! She what? Technically, I think it would be more proper to say she was abducted, since she's not really a kid, but yeah. I sent her on an errand, and she never came back, and then, and then, well, maybe she just got lost. Just a little while ago, somebody pushed a letter under that door. Oh, okay, I see. It said that if we wanted her back, I should go alone to the hut in the western woods. The western woods again? The freaking place, I'm telling you. No good happens out there. Looks like we were too late. It must be the work of those thugs, huh? Freaking thugs? We don't have any proof, but chances are, yeah. Those dirty cowards, too afraid to go after Belkut directly, so they targeted poor Marina. Marina! I'm so very sorry. This is all my fault. No, it's the thug's fault. Put a sock in it. It isn't your fault. The only one to blame are those thugs for kidnapping poor, innocent Marina. I... but... Look, we don't have time to point fingers. I... I guess you're right. We got work to do, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, let's mobilize the patrol guards, because that's going to do a lot. Can we take care of this ourselves? No, I won't hear of that. I can't let you go to that kind of trouble. I'll just do what they asked me to do. No, they really might kill you this time. That doesn't matter. Medina's life is what's important. That's the worst way to go about it. Even if you do what they say, there's no guarantee they'll let Marina go. Absolutely true. Do you really think such low-down, dirty scoundrels would have enough integrity to keep a promise? <laughs> Hardly. Then, what are we supposed to do? I just remembered something. Oh yeah? They said hut in the western woods. Do you think they're talking about that hut the woodcutters used to use? Hmm. I'm sure of it. It's empty now, so it's the perfect place for no good types like that to gather. In that case, I have a plan. You do? Yes, there's more than one path to that hut. There's an animal trail through those woods too, and it leads to the back of the hut. If we go that way, maybe we can sneak up on them. R really Even we didn't know about that. I used to come visit a lot back when I was engaged to Gazelle. Please, show me where that trail is. I'll go on from there alone. Would you quit it with that stupid idea already? They've got a hostage. Even if you could sneak up on them, you couldn't do much by yourself. It's true. George knows what he's talking about. I'm sure he's been in a lot of hostage situations throughout his life. We want to rescue Marina, too. Please, let us help you. Everyone. Thank you very much. Come on now, cut that out. Now that it's settled, let's get going. R right. Please, Prince. That girl is just like a daughter to us. Don't worry, we'll take care of business. Please, we're begging you, please bring her back safe. No problem. Leave it to us. Oh, hearing you say that, Prince, I feel like maybe everything just might turn out all right. Don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. Thank you. Oh, thank you, all of you. So, Belkut joins the party. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Medina's in the western woods. We've got to hurry. They're not going to get away with this. So, did, did we ever, uh... Did we, did we ever upgrade Belkut's weapons? No, we didn't. I don't think we had a chance. Well, now would be a good time to do that. It would not be a, a bad idea. So, oh, oh yeah, we gave him a bandage, didn't we? <laughs> Alright, because we're so generous that way. Okay. So let's head to the old part of town, or the new part of town, or whatever. And it'd be a good idea to sharpen Belkut's weapon. To at least level two if you have the money. We, we should be able to do three. It's not required, but, you know, wouldn't hurt. 
I mean, Belkut's in level 19, so he's pretty much going to be okay. But we might as well uh, upgrade his weapon to level 3 like everyone else, and uh, yeah. And I took the wrong alleyway, of course, because, you know, it's a uh, story of my life. So yeah. It's, I spent a lot of my life taking wrong alleyways. It's just the way it is. Alright. So, missed of everyone else is in level 3, so you should be as well in your, with your Akatsya. Your two-handed sword of legend. Woo! Up to 45, why not? So something really cool is about to happen, by the way, I should mention. Here, like, real soon. Um, first, let's see. 2020 Potch! What do you know? His attack is 160. 64, 88. His attack is, like, already higher than pretty much everyone. You know, except for George. He's gaining on you, though, Georgie boy. So there's two exits, the southwestern and the uh, southeastern corner. That, that you know, it's kind of hard to see, but... So the interesting thing is, the, the guard in the southwest corner won't let you leave, but the one in the southeast will. Because, you know, they're weird like that. So, we, we might as well do this one first. I mean, why not? I'm under orders to ensure that you remain in town, your highness. No matter what happens, I can't allow you to go through. If you insist, well, I guess I'll have to fight you. And I really don't see that going well for either of us. <laughs> cause, Cause you'll totally have our number. Looks like this one's gonna be stubborn. Let's try the other gate. Yeah. Basically, the only reason I go to that one first is for a little extra dialogue. You know me, I love my dialogue. And this game has tons of it. A lot of it that's not really necessary, but, you know, it works. Bum 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 bum. Bum. So many alleys. Why there be so many alleys? Bum 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 bum. <laughs> ah, Prince Brasia, it's too dangerous to leave town. Pardon? This is an emergency, you say? Hmm, you can't say what it is about. Oh, all right, I guess I can let you leave, though, seeing as it's an emergency. But please promise me you'll be very, very careful. If anything happened to you, it would be my responsibility. Your ass is on the line, sir. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Did I fix this memory card? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it doesn't seem to work for this game for some reason. I don't know why. It just doesn't. It just does not. I don't know why. It works for any other game, but this game, nope! Alrighty then. We actually get to leave. So we are on the world map for the first time in like in what, like, almost eight hours of gameplay. <laughs> I love the overworld. Yes, yes, in this game, you, you you go back to a traditional overworld, which if you know me, you know that I absolutely love that. So, it's definitely cool that they brought that back in this game. So, a few things. Since we're in the overworld, you can run around and fight some enemies if you want. And there is a wild boar, which is kind of like a mini-boss, you know, kind of like there were in Sukoden 3 and 4. So... So, yeah. And you actually probably do want to fight it, because you get some good drops from it, so... Yeah, so... The, 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 the Western words are very close by, but I would re recommend doing some fighting out here. I mean, why not? Get some extra cash. Try to fight the wild boar, if you can. So, Sometimes it can be kind of rare, but it usually appears before too long. What do we got? We got a Blade Bunny, of course, because why not? Mr. Belcoot. Three times damage to one enemy decreased accuracy. 
And of course, George is just going to one-shot everything, as always. Bum, bum, bum. So we can kind of look around the overworld here if you want. There's not really a, a whole lot of places we, we, we can really go, but, you know. Prince, Marina's in the western woods. That way is east. Yeah, so it won't let you go across that bridge, but you can kind of go around... Yeah, as you can see, the map looks pretty bare. That uh, later on, you actually do get get the classic Suko map, but that that won't be till much later. So let's uh let's let Belcoot handle this with his Falcon Rune. Why not? Boom! Of course, it unbalances him. <laughs> Alrighty then. Good stuff. Trying to encounter the, uh, you know. I, lo I love this overworld theme, though. It's classic stuff. Here we go. You you can tell be because of that little sound before. Alright. Yeah, well, let's bribe it. Because that would make sense. Wild boar. It actually looks pretty small for a wild boar, but yeah. George can't one-shot it. You gotta love it. Oh, he can, though. Get 2,500 pot, which is more than we even had, I think. Get get Power Piece 1, Marble Beef, and Fur Clothes. All of which are good to have. I mean, exp experience-wise, it doesn't really give that much, but... So, let's see. What do we got going on here? Got the power piece to make a power or marble beef, which is an ingredient if you had a chef. And for clothes, which are pretty good. Physical defense up by 20, I just hit the mic, it's semi-sexual, and yeah. We can give it to Frasia, because he's the prince. Fine clothes, but we could give to Belcoot instead of his leather armor. So that's good stuff, we got some nice upgrades from that. Alright, so let's head to the western woods, shall we? Bum bum. Or not. You know, that works too. That totally works. Just auto it. George will do will do the usual one shot. Still got a long way to go. What are you talking about? You can one shot practically anything, just about. I don't think you do have a long way to go, sir. I think the rest of us have a long way to go. So here's the western woods. Do do Rut Row. Ah, oh, this theme, yeah. Love it. If we follow this path all the way to the end, we'll arrive at the hut. Hmm, let's see. It was around here somewhere. Aha! There's the hunting trail. Here it is, found it. Ooh. Excuse me. You weren't kidding. I wouldn't have guessed this would be here. It's been such a long time. I was worried it had grown over by now. Thank goodness it's still here. Lady Sialides, you used to come here? Back then, I was even more of a tomboy than Lim is now. Oh boy. I bet you were quite a handful for the Queen's Knights assigned to guard you. Alright, enough chit-chat. Let's get going. Right. Whee! So we'll drop a save, because can. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down, sir. Let's not lose our heads here. Western Woods. Western Woods, man. So just follow this path. It's pretty straightforward, but it kind of twists, twists quite a bit. There's a chest. Mega medicine. All right. There are random battles, by the way. It's kind of hard to get lost. What the hell do we got here? What is this nonsense? 
It's a creeper. Creepers are much larger in this game, if you couldn't tell. In the previous games, they've been little, small little critters. This, in this game, they're these big ass thingamajiggers. So, George can't, can't, I can't talk, can't one shot it, even with a crit. So that's pretty impressive. They have a lot of HP, but but they're not really that tough. They have an AOE attack and they can poison, but it's not really a big deal. Goodbye. Two crits in a row. That's disgusting. Still got a long way to go. Pretty decent EXP, though. 300 pots. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. There is something I should do, by the way, that I never really thought about doing. And that's uh, moving what's his face. Dude, stop it. You're you're hurting me with the poison. Do we even have an antitoxin? We don't. Well, we're just gonna have to wait for it to wear off then. That's alright. Let's see. No, that's not what I want. Dude, stop it! By the way, there is a tactic around here, I think. There you go. That would be a better idea, I think. Alright. Put Belkut in the front so he can tank and such. Alright, so I think back here there's a little side path. I believe. We got snails! Snails are smaller in this game than in previous games. I'm not really sure why, but... Snail! Snail trail. Oh, oh, goodbye. These battles are definitely a good way to get some money early on. Let's see, I think there's a path somewhere back here that'll lead us to kind of a secret area. Just gotta find it, man. Holly Boys are here! The Holly Boys! You know what I'm talking about. Classic Sue Coden enemy that are r really pathetic, but they come in groups. Yeah, crit, like that's necessary. Dun -dun. Why is it showing a back shot of us? That's kind of odd. Hey, there's our freaking antitoxin. Although poison's already worn off, I'm sure, so it doesn't really matter, but. There's our antitoxin! Cures the poison and venom status effects. Alright. See if we can find this path. It should be somewhere around here. There we go. Goose tactic! That's right, it's called Goose. It's called Goose. That, that is correct. Goose! Plus two to accuracy and technique. So you, so you can have that one if you want. I guess we could do it just to try out the, uh, you know, the, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. the skill thing. You, you know what I'm saying. Let's see what we get. Wild Goose, attack first. Yeah, basically what this does is it lets your entire party get an, get an extra attack at the very beginning. Before they even get to go. So that's kind of cool. Woo! Alright, so let's keep going. I, I think that's all the chests we can get here. Do -do 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 -do. Snails! I did not mean to retreat. I wanted to go to the formation thing, but somehow I clicked on retreat. I don't know how that happened, but it did. So, whatever, man. 
Whatever you gotta do. I spotted Marina. She's all right. And the enemy? There are two inside. I'm positive those are the guys that attacked Belcoot. And there are about five more in front. Guess they don't expect anybody to come from the back. They're only guarding the front. What do you think we should do? Do you want to wait a while? Sorry. I just can't wait anymore! Hey, wait! <laughs> Way to ruin the plan, dude. Uh, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Marina, are you all right? Uh, what's what's going on? What's wrong? What happened? You? How did you? It looks like you've been very naughty. We've freed the hostage. If you don't want to get hurt, you better give up now. Damn it! Not you stupid imposters again! Don't you have anything better to do? How many times do you have to get in our way before you're satisfied? You're nothing but kidnappers. Huh. We hardly expect the likes of you to understand our noble purpose. A barbaric swordsman from some backward land trying to become our princess's husband? It's blasphemy! We have to stop it! And to do that, you're willing to make this poor, innocent young lady suffer? You got it! A lot you know! That girl is a citizen of Felena! It is her duty to go along with the plan, so just back off! They're never going to listen. Definitely not. No matter how you try to justify it, it doesn't change the fact that you failed. So just give up now while you can. Never! Ugh, you leave us no choice! Even if we died trying, Belcoot, we're gonna bring you down with us! We can't let you fight in the championship tomorrow! Fine, come on then. You'll pay for touching Marina. So we gotta fight some more thugs, which is not a big deal at all. They're just kinda there. So yeah. Thugs! Do a little royal power. Because why not? Weapon defense! Damn! Pfft. Lots of parrying and countering going on, weapon defenses and such. <gasps> Excuse me. Goodbye. Woo! And they fall. Edge. Level 15, that's not too shabby. 1500 potch. Pretty good for such an easy battle. Let me get a medicine. It's cool. Oh, man. I just can't believe these guys. And the worst part is, they thought they were doing it for the nation and the royal family. And getting that poor girl mixed up in it, too. Despicable. Marina. It's all right now. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. I was so scared. So scared. <laughs> Marina. <sighs> oh.
Leon noticed him. Nobody else did. So keep that person in mind. They'll be pretty important. Marina joined the party. Alright, so now we just want to leave this place. And Marina actually has a support ability, healing! Which heals your HP a little bit after each battle. I believe that's what it does. So yeah. Let me go back in here. Prince, do you want anything else with those guys? I think they're still out cold. You tied them up so they can't escape. So let's just leave them to the patrol guards. Good idea. The owners of the inn are worried too. We must hurry and bring her back. Sounds like a plan. Bum bum bum. Yeah, see that it, it also heals you e each turn during the battle. So that's pretty cool. We did it! Creeper beads! Which I think you use those in the bathtub? I think. They're not really important, but they exist. Right? I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what they're used for. If Frasia equips in the bath, yep. Alright. Not really important or anything, but uh, there they are. You get a lot of stuff like that in this game, like beads and, you know, bath toys and such. only hit the prince and, and, and I call healing healed more than that hurt so double critical hit more creeper beads but we get some medicine and antitoxin yeah in my opinion healing is much more useful in this game than it was in previous games I don't know if in previous games it healed, like, during the fight. I don't think it did, but I could be wrong about that. But either way. 